guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Thomas and Friends Push Along Slash Motorized Troublesome Truck. And here we can see the packaging, and I have to say I do like the packaging. Um, you will see the name Troublesome Truck is actually trademarked now, which I thought was interesting too. Here's the other side of the packaging, the top, and the bottom. Alright, and here's the truck out of the box, and I have to say I love this item. Look at all the great details here. From the crisp lining uh, for all the little details there to the wheels that are painted i mean it just looks absolutely incredible and of course that nice crate load on the inside and the face looks really really good because it looks classic um the pupils or the irises around the pupils um are like a grayish color so they kind of blend in it's not as noticeable so this could easily fit into a classic series layout um here's the other side here's the back again great details and painted buffers which is nice here's the top if we remove the crate details, you can actually see there's a separate piece for the wooden plank detail at the bottom. I love that. It gives such an extra touch. It's also interesting to note that the truck is made out of die-cast metal, and then the bottom is plastic. You'll see the Thomas Friends logo there. Alright, now let's take a look at the crate detail, and this actually separates into two pieces, which I really, really like. It's great because it's scale with HO scale, uh, pretty much, so it looks uh, really good with other uh, trucks and, of course, the older range of Trackmaster. Here's a 360 look at them. A look at the top. You can see just how much detail went into these pieces. I really love those. I want more of these. And here's a comparison to the Trackmaster version of this truck. Now, I believe that the molds are incredibly similar. Um, the one on the right is taller, but only because of the wheelbase. The body itself is about the same height, so I think it might be the same mold, uh, just reused. And you'll see the truck load, or the crate load does fit in there. There's a comparison from top to bottom. And then here's a comparison with the All Engines Go Motorized Engine, as well as an All Engines Go Push Along Engine. And finally, a Play Rail Thomas. So for scaling to Bow Track Master, it's about the same, uh, same height as the Wiggling Troublesome Trucks. So if you use those on your layout, then you could easily use the, uh, this one on your Classic Series layout as well. Alright, so what are my thoughts on this truck? I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I adore this item. I love the Troublesome Trucks and all in just go. They, their character is just so funny, and I love them. They're adorable. And it really translated well into push along slash motorized form. I also really like the fact that it is made out of metal and has a good hefty amount of weight to them. Um, I do plan on making some modifications, which I'll make a video on later. But yeah, if you can get your hands on this item, I highly recommend it. And I recommend it for both AEG fans, younger engineers, um, and older fans, and uh, older collectors of the older range as well. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think about this troublesome truck in the comments below. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.